today's tutorial will show you how to download and use the Clams Library Network app on your smartphone. On your screen for an iPhone, you will select the App Store, which is on the bottom right corner of my screen. If you are on an Android, you would select the Play Store. Go ahead and click on that now. In the search box, by either hitting search, or if it's already at the top of your page, you are going to type in Clams Library Network, and you will hit your search button. You will see one result. You can click on the name of the result to see a preview. At the top, underneath the name of the app, you will see an option that either says get or install or download, or you will have this little icon that looks like a cloud with a downward pointing arrow. That also means install. You want to click on one of those options now. You may be prompted to enter in a password or username in order to approve the installation of any new apps. Once you have done so, the app is now downloaded and you will find it on one of your home screens of your smartphone. Or you can click the open button here. You will be prompted by the Clams Library Network to send you notifications, including alerts, sounds, and badges. You can click on the left for don't allow or on the right for allow. This is your home screen. At the top, you will see the option to search. You would click in that search box and you can search by title, author, or keyword. On your main screen, you will see six options. Starting from the left at the top, you see search the catalog. Underneath that is events, followed by digital downloads. And on the next side, my account, library information, and featured lists. And if you look at the bottom blue menu bar, from left to right, you see your home button, my account button, search the catalog button, and your digital library card button. Now, the next thing you want to do is click on the top left icon for my account. This is your account options. But first, before you can use any of these options, you want to manage your accounts and, and add your personal library card account to the Clams Library Network app. So the second up from the right menu, where it says Manage Accounts, you want to click on that. The Clams Library Network will then prompt to ask access your calendar. You can choose on the left to Don't Allow or the right option for OK. Here, just under the word Accounts, you see a blue menu option that says Add a Library Card. You're going to click on Add a Library Card now. Your next option is to, be, is to enter your barcode or username, followed by your password. Your barcode it can be found on the back of your library card. You want to enter it with no spaces between the numbers. A username is something special that you created when you first logged into your account through the desktop website. Now you want to enter your password. A password is four or more case-sensitive letters and numbers that you created when you first signed up for your library card. If you do not know your library barcode, username, or PIN, aka your password, please contact the library where you first signed up for your library card. Once you have entered your username, barcode, or password, hit the validate button you'll now be shown a success pop-up. You can hit close. You will now see your personal information under accounts. And on the bottom menu, on the right, the digital library card, you wanna click on that icon. It will show you your scannable digital library card. Some libraries offer the option to scan digital library cards. Not all libraries do so, so be sure to bring your physical card with you as well. Let's hit the home button on the bottom left blue menu. Here, what I'm going to show you next is how to search the catalog. So let's type in in the top 
search box James Patterson. And from your keyboard, you can hit your search button. You will see a list of results of anything that has the word or the author James Patterson. You can filter these results on the top right next to the search the catalog button is an icon. It's a square with lines in it. If you click on that, you can see that you can limit by material type, location, and audience. And then at the bottom, you would click filter results. Your results list will show you a list of all physical book titles because you filtered your results. If you want to look at a particular title, you can click on it. For example, if I click on the in, I would click on the right arrow button. You can see item details, including a description. And if I want to minimize those item details, I hit the up arrow button to the right of item details. I also have the option to request that is showing an a right pointing arrow button. I am going to click on request item. You now have the option to select which user you are placing this hold for, as you can add multiple users to your account, so you may have more than one user in this option list. And then you have the option of which library you choose to pick it up at. At the bottom, when you have made your selection, you want to hit submit request. you will see a pop-up that says that this item has been, has been placed on hold for you, and you can hit close. Let's go back to our homepage. The next icon on the list after search the catalog is events. This brings you to the events calendar. The events calendar shows all upcoming events by date that the libraries are offering. Just be aware that not all libraries participate in this particular events calendar, so be sure to visit your library's website in order to see a full listing of their events. On this page, you can click on a particular event to expand it, so let's click on the top event, anywhere in the box. It expands the information and you can see additional information and location for this event, and you can click it again to minimize it. And once you are done, at the top left where it says done, click on that and it brings you back to our home screen. Now you can also look at digital downloads, the third option on the left list. Digital downloads brings you to the CLAMS Overdrive website where you are prompted to sign in. If you sign in, you can see all of the digital downloads that you have borrowed, such as ebooks and e audiobooks but you cannot utilize or, or read or listen to these materials through the CLAMS Library Network app. If you want to utilize your OverDrive digital titles, you need to download the Libby app to your smartphone. Once you are done looking at this, click on the upper left corner, Done option. Then you have your My Account option. We did already go over My Account on how to manage accounts. But now, when you are looking at your account, you can see your checkouts on the top left. If you click on the top left, My Checkouts, you can see everything you have checked out. Let's hit the back button on the top left of our screen. It is a back arrow button. I will be referring to it as the back button from now on. You can also look at My Fines and Fees. This will show you any outstanding bills or overdue fees that you may have related to your account. You may hit the back button. You then see your digital library card option, which is also on your bottom blue menu bar, and hit back. You can also select get a library card. Get a library card brings you to the CLAMS Library Network website where you can fill out an e-card record form. This will give you a temporary digital e-card that you can also use to borrow physical books, but you must visit your library in order 
to complete the application process. On the top left, you will hit done. You also have on the next list on the right at the top, my holds. This will show any outstanding holds you have for your library cards. You will hit the back button. You can also look into my reading history. My reading history will show you a list of everything that you have ever checked out. Only if you opted into my reading history on the desktop website. You will not see this information if you never opted in. Go ahead and hit the back button. Again, we've already gone over manage accounts where you can choose to add more library cards. Hit the back button. And you have the option for self-checkout. Self-checkout is not available when you are not in a physical library. Self-checkout means that you would scan a library material barcode to check it out through your phone. Not all libraries offer this option, so you have to know if your home library or, your vi or the library you are visiting offers this option. Otherwise, you will have to physically check out your material at the circulation desk. Go ahead and hit the close button now. And if you hit the back button, we will go back to the home page. We've already gone over search the catalog, events, digital downloads, and my account. Our last two are library information and featured lists. If you click on library information, which is the second icon in the right column, you will be brought to this page where you have an interactive map of all the libraries and a drop down menu of the libraries in alphabetical order. On the right, next to Aquina Library, you can click the, the, the drop down arrow, the arrow pointing down that's next to it. It will show you its hours, its address, you can see its phone number, its social media, and its website. If you click on view social media, you will see the option to open the social media that it is connected with. If you clicked on Facebook or Instagram, your phone will likely prompt you to open it in the app if you have it downloaded to your phone. Hit cancel now. And if you click on view website, you will be brought to the library website outside of the library network app that you are currently in. And it will show you additional information and menu options for that library. Once you are done, hit the top left corner where it says done. And we're going to hit the back button now. Now, if you look at featured lists, which is the last icon on the right list, you will see four options, top requests, new releases, coming soon, and New York Times bestsellers. Let's click on top requests on the top left corner. You have the option of filtering through fiction, nonfiction, etc. Hit cancel. And if you look at new releases, you have the same, mostly the same options and you can hit cancel. And Coming soon offers adult fiction, spoken CD, adult nonfiction, and so on. And then New York Times bestsellers, where you have fiction or nonfiction. Now, if you clicked on any of these list options and then you clicked on a particular type of list, such as the New York Times bestsellers fiction list, it will show you a list of New York Times bestselling fiction in the Clams catalog. It will show you all formats. As you can see, we have Where the Crawdads Sing, the book, the, the digital audio book, the digital ebook, large print, and so on. Where, if you wanted, you could click on the material to get further information. Let's hit your bottom menu option for home. That is the left icon on the bottom menu in the blue. You are now on your home page. We have shown you everything that has to do with the CLAMS Library Network app. If you have any questions, please get in touch with your local library. Thank you so much and have a good day.